Welcome to another fantastic episode of At The Bar Podcast. We are here recording live at World Beer UCF. As always, I'm your host, Mike. Next to me, we have Hollywood, Hollywood Jeff. himself, Jeff. <laughs> what are you drinking there, Jeff? Uh, this is actually a crowler from Red Cypress I got it the other night uh, when we went out there. It is Fruit de la Terre. Okay. Um, it's a sour, uh, a lot of fruit notes, really sweet in the finish. Uh, very citrusy up front. I know you had some and you didn't particularly I, like it because it's citrus, it. but right. um, I think it's great. Really From good. Our buddies at Red Cypress. I, I'm going to plug them as much as I can. I mean, I like Red Cypress a lot, and uh, Ryan couldn't be nicer. We took a little brewery tour the other night, too. Awesome, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they were closed, obviously, at that point, so it was fun to kind of just go in there and see the coolers Waste and more see everything. And, uh, he, he offered, <laughs> okay, all right? He offered. All right. So. so we have a very special, well, I think every episode is special, but this is very extra special episode one is our one of our first video episodes one of one of mm-hmm. and then we're doing a blind taste test in our first ever beer battle correct yeah i think insert, yeah, insert graphic here mm-hmm. so we're, we're comparing two beers we don't know which one's which obviously there are two here equal in color now here are the two jeff oh, well, anyone I, I know the two everybody listening you listen because this is going to be like what one of these beers is the ever inclusive exclusive Hard to get inclusive. Exclusive. Exclusive. Whatever. Whatever. One of these is Funky Buddha Last Snow. I've never had. You've had. I've had. It will be tougher for you to pick. Are you picking which one's better or am I trying to identify which one's which? We can do both. Well, you haven't had Last Snow. We're going to pick which which one's better and then you're going to pick which is which. And which one's better. Correct. Got it. And then the (laughs) the other one is Death by Coconut by Oscar Blues. So... Both, which is I a, think essentially the clone of, essentially, yeah, of of uh, Last Snow, which I've had both, and I, you know, when you're not trying them side by side, I think they're very comparable. So we're going right. to see right now. So we're going to see right now which one's comparable. A lot of people online and on Reddit and whatnot are really comparing these two beers. They have a lot of similarities, as you can, as we can see here. Color is one of them. Well, so. you can show them. I uh, my angle is okay. a little weird. Actually, All right, whatever. There we go. There we go. So let's go on the uh, the handle. The first beer. We're going to go just, handle first. Let's do handle first. All right. I gave you some water to okay. cleanse your palate because you had a sour before this. So, color, dark brown, off-white head. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think pretty, I already know which one this is. Pretty typical of a, uh, a stout or porter. Porter. Yep. Smell. Very chocolatey. Maple syrup. Now I don't know if I know which one it is anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee. It smells like breakfast. Well, absolutely delicious. There's no doubting it's that. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go immediately to the other one, real quick. Softer nose on this yeah, one a lot. A lot softer, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, they're very similar. Yeah, I almost, I think this one on the on the top here has some kind of like soapy taste to it a little bit, a little bit different. I'm gonna guess. We're going to it. I'm gonna guess which one's which. Okay. I think the first beer here, Death by Coconut. No. Fun, uh, Last Snow, Death by Coconut. I, I agree with what you just said. I think the handle is Last Snow. Last Snow. And I think the other one is DBC. Because I, I pick up, like, the last one you get a lot of vanilla or, or, like, coconut. So I think this is this. And any any thoughts? These are both fantastic. Really good beers. I mean, I, I'm Death by Coconut, I bought as much as I possibly could when it came out. I love it. So, <laughs> yeah. so for the reveal, so which one? Okay, let's go. Which one do you think is better? Uh, handle. Which is the Funky Buddha, I believe. So that's what yeah. my take and is. Funky Buddha is better. It has a little bit more flavor, and the nose is a little bit better. The body's a little bit bigger, yep. and uh, it's just it, a little bit more. Full, it's it's a little more complex. It's a fuller yeah. beer. It's okay, just, I agree. I see the handle too. So handle is last snow. All right. Non handle is the death back. I almost wish that we uh, that we did it 
I wish we disagreed. I wish that we like. I wish we <laughs> no. didn't. Pick. We never. We never disagree. We have the same palate. I wish we didn't pick the one that everybody already is saying is better, but it is. It is definitely. Uh, I mean, what, when you yeah. try these side by side, I, in, originally, I, mean, I still gave DBC when it first came out. Um, not on the podcast, in a, in a different group, I gave it a, I believe, like a, uh, like, what would equate, let me see what he did on a scale of, of five. So I did, I gave it like a four or five. So that's like a nine. It's like a 90, yeah. So I, I gave it a straight nine when it first came out. And I do think that Last Snow is one of those rare one-off beers that gets gets above, above a nine. Right. Um, I don't think it gets all the way up there, especially now that I've tried a lot of the Funky Buddha stuff. Uh, maple bacon coffee porter, uh, snowed in, which is the imperial version of this. Right. Um, and then and down at Funky Buddha, we had the barrel aged snowed in, which was very good. Right. Um, so uh, with some of the stuff they're putting out, I, I actually think that this is on the lower end of their rare beers, which is pretty awesome considering that it's still a, like a 9 3, yeah. uh, in my opinion. Yeah. So uh, it is better, but marginally, and they're both fantastic beers. I, I think that. Um, for sure, last snow though has a little bit more body and a lot more flavor, and a yeah. much better nose. And that really what that's really what does it for me is I think that the nose is a lot better on this beer. I like the complexity of the last snow. It tastes like a mm-hmm. little bit like breakfast, um, even though I don't eat breakfast. I mean, but smell smell them side by side and just see what like the nose is significantly bigger. I mean, this one you get a lot of syrup with it for the last snow. I get like I think I mean I honestly I think syrup. they put a lot more syrup and and adjuncts, adjuncts and stuff yeah. in there. Which is fine with me because it tastes great. I know you hate adjuncts, but I mean, it's a love hate affair. Yeah, last time I has a uh, syndically better nose on that. Mm-hmm. Um, next question would be: Is it worth the media last time, I guess? Is it worth the hype? Y- yes. I mean, from what we talked about, yeah, it is still a rare one off. It's still fantastic beer. Um, you want to wait for it. You want to get it when it comes out. This is worth having. And the fact is, it comes out once a year. So you're only going to get this beer once a year. Death by Coconut's already come out twice since they've released it. It's not all the time, but it's going to be more available. If you can't get Last Snow and you love that coconut chocolate porter, go with Death by Coconut. It's amazing. Um, it's just, I, I hate rarity playing into whether or not a beer is worth buying, but it is because of the fact that it's so rare. Now, is maple bacon coffee porter comparable, if not better, arguable, depending on what your palate is, but I think it's better. Um, some other stuff from them, like uh, sweet potato casserole, which is more widely available, I think is better than last snow, depending on the year or draft or bottle. Right, 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 right. Yeah. But, um, you know, I think they're both great. The, the thing about Funky Buddha is, and we've talked about it a little bit, and, and the reason that a lot of true beer lovers are kind of bashing them is that their beers are adjunct like crazy. So... You could, if this, you could smell it in the if last this snow, bottle, If this bottle sat for another month and then we did this exact same taste test, we might be flipped. We might think, you know, the Death by Coconut's Definitely better, better yeah. because this, this is going to taste significantly lighter in a month. But the fact that these bottles just came out, what, two weeks ago? They're, br- like they're yeah, brand, they're us, brand the new letter, yeah. and they're fresh and the beer's great. Um for sure, I, I think that Last Snow is worth is worth the hype, 100. percent But when you get that bottle, make sure you drink it. I'm I'm a little let down. I'm, I'm gonna get a lot of flack well, for this. Okay, you're let down because you waited like three years of being a craft beer person to try Last Snow. But so you it built it up in your head. You put the, the pussy on a pedestal. Right, I I did. Well, because everyone else did. Well, the pedestal existed prior to us even being in craft beer. Right, so I. Is okay. Let, let me break this down. Roll. roll. There's is very it, few is, beers. Is it worth getting? Absolutely. Okay, but at this point, let's put it this way. At this point, if you were to try 120 minute for the first time, you've never had 120 minute. You've been into craft beer for right. four years, uh-huh. five years, whatever. How long? I mean, I don't know how long you've been into craft beer. Like three, four years. Six. That you've been six years. Okay, yeah. so six years. Right. Um, if you tried 120 minute for the first time this year, do you think you'd be let down? Probably. Because of the hype around it, but is it still arguably my, in my opinion, the best one released double IPA? Uh, I, I think I mean, it is, uh, and it's at twenty percent. It tastes awesome. It's balanced. It's I mean, but you you're going to be let down because you built that beer up in your head because of the hype. And yes, I I think that the hype plays into you being let down, but I also think the hype made you hype it yourself. I, I mean, 
uh, to a point, yeah, but still, it like classic if, pussy on a pedestal scenario. If, if, if the hype was there or not, like I, I'm not like blown away by it. You're drinking two There's beers. beers that blow you're me drinking away. two beers that are both in our both of us agreed are nines or higher, right? Can you really complain about a nine three? I, I mean, if I were to give last on a scale from one to one to uh, zero to ten, a nine, and that's maybe being a little bit generous. So, what do you give DBC? Like an eight eight, like it's right there. So they're both severely better than average. Yeah, they're both B plus or A minus beers. Yeah, but the problem with last though is obviously you can't get it all the time. But the reason why I'm not hyped about it is because it's just not I like. I've had better beers that. I mean, I guess it's a personal preference, but. Like, to me, having 120, 120 minute for the first time blew me away. Regardless if there was hype there or not, it still blew me away. Are there better beers in the cooler at your local beer bar year-round that are available year-round than Last Snow? I don't know. I don't that's think a, so. That's a question I'd have to think about because I'd have to go through all the porters that... See, I don't think so. I, I think when you're talking about what's available year-round, and the reason that this is released one time a year is because I think it is that much better than what is available year-round. Because I don't see a beer that is in the cooler at any time that is better than Last Snow is right now. There's not one. There's not. It's, a, it's there's not a better. There's not a better year-round release than Last Snow is as a is a one-off. It's thin, man. Body of it on it's thin for me. I see. That's a lot it's more. It's a lot thicker than the Death by Coconut. I'm a little. I'm a little let down by both. A little bit, honestly. Death by this this can of Death by Coconut actually does not taste as good as the ones I've had. I bought I bought sixteen cans because I bought these at the exact same time at the exact same place. I thought mine tasted so. So who knows when they got canned and by the time they got canned sent here? That's information we don't have. But I thought mine tasted Sophie or Sophie Soapy, which I believe to be kind of a, a, not an infection. It's not a bad beer by any means, but there's something that's wrong with that beer. And I, I, I don't get chocolate on the Death by Coconut at all, yeah. and that's and to me it tastes like a plain burger. Right. What's up, Goose? Goosey, Goosey, Goosey. He's risen again. What's up, bro? No. Are you leaving? You want to try these and tell me which one you think is which? What is what? What is what? So we're we're, we're yeah. Goose, there, one Goose of them's is last snow and one of them's Death by Coconut. Can I, can I guess? Yeah, guess. First. Handle, handle, and. Is that's that, without is that your final answer. That's without a taste. That's just on nose. That's, that's what you're. Yeah, you're right. Yep. So just on nose alone, he got it right. Yep. That's a testament to Funky. I mean, we got it right too. Before I even I think we called them right away. You can. You can that's smell more or less. Have you had last though? Yeah. You think you think it's worth the hype? I don't like coconut too much. Oh my we're God. gonna have none of his right. actual on audio, so it's yeah. just gonna sound like we're talking that's to okay. ourselves. I can, cut up. <laughs> I can cut up. So, last no is the clear winner here. Yeah, and, and, and even Goose said it. And off I'm, mic. I'm a little upset about it. I am. I love Funky Buddha though. So, adjuncting <laughs> wins this time. I, I do. It, <laughs> no, they're all, both adjuncted. It probably. always it always wins in the short term, and that's the reason that true beer people, like true brewers, hate what Funky Buddha is doing. And that's right. like we saw. I mean, Jason said they're the most over uh, or underrated brewery yeah. at our other. At our other show that we did, yeah, um, <laughs> but but and that's or the most overrated brewery on the show that we did over in Melbourne, because right. he said that it's all it's all fake. It's it's easier to get an amazing tasting beer when you add junk of beer. Correct. However, notable breweries are doing it, and they're doing it consistently Probably more than we think, and they're doing, doing it consistently, it. and yeah. and they're coming out great and. Uh, as far as the flavor of the beer goes, I'm not a purist in the fact that I don't think that you can brew a beer in, in any way that you, that, that, as long as it tastes good. You know, it's brewer's intent to me. What do you want the beer to taste like? Does it taste like it? Then you nailed it. You know, like I, we had that spaghetti western. I would have, I would not have hated that beer more than I already hate it <laughs> if they would have injected some basil or some kind of sauce flavor in there where you get the taste that you're tasting spaghetti. Right. Because uh, don't call it spaghetti western and then have a no taste of spaghetti at all. Yeah. Is it worse to 
miss your brewer's intent because you didn't add junk of beer or is it worse to add junk of beer and then have it taste exactly like you like it to but everybody doesn't like it because your brewing process was wrong you know it's a double-edged sword to me it's all about does the beer taste great absolutely i like it keep doing what you're doing funky buddha so in that with that said funky buddha takes the crown in this beer battle coming in gold or the king of these two uh, Oscar Blues came in a good second. A good second. Good second. Nothing wrong with Oscar Blues. And, and to be honest with you, 1050 versus this, 1050 probably would have won out. I th- so I like Oscar Blues more, yeah. is not Oscar <laughs> Blues is not bad by any means. No. All their beers are quality, so we're not bashing them in any way. They cloned a, a good beer and they did a good job with it. Yep. Um, but they cloned a beer. You know, so. at the end of the day, it's a clone. Yep. And it's not as good as the original. Yep. So last note takes the cake on this first ever beer battle. Feel free to check us on all social media. As always, Jeff, plug it anywhere. Uh, World of Beer UCF. We just put in new patio lights, which you can see if you look up right now. And they are very nice. They're really bright. You can actually read your menus now. And it gives a whole new vibe to the bar. Love it. Come on out. Check us out. We got the $5 burger night Monday night. $5 burgers. We've got uh, our happy hour going Monday through Friday um, until 7 o'clock, 3 to 7. Five dollar food, four dollar select beers. We also are doing late night happy hour from ten o'clock until close uh, Sunday through Thursday. And there's so, a lot of upcoming events too. Tons of upcoming a events. Ton, a ton, but a ton. I don't know when it's uh, coming through. We don't have dates, but keep checking back with us. Actually, we're working on something huge. We're going to be doing a homebrew festival. Um, it's going to be amazing in June. Um, free to the homebrewers to come in. So if you're a homebrewer listening, Central Florida area, check with our Facebook. Be in constant upkeep with that because mm-hmm. when you see it come up we're going to fill up quick with this but uh it's going to be incredible we partnered with red cypress um the prize for first place besides being a share of the pot for our ticket sales uh of 25 percent of ticket sales okay. are going to go right back to you in cash also you're going to get the opportunity to brew a collaboration beer with red cypress um that beer will potentially be a wob exclusive but definitely will be on tap at both world of beer ucf and world of beer altamont um with a release party basically in your honor so if you're a home brewer or just a craft beer lover come out we're highlighting the home brewers i think that yep. the push local was huge but now there's so much local oh, now yeah. it's like let's yeah. celebrate the people who are doing it without getting paid for supporting it supporting the hobby and that's, and that's really what the, the love of craft beer is. It's all about the hobby. It's about loving the beer. And those are the people who are doing it for the love of the beer. Let's highlight them. We're going to have uh, open, uh, we're gonna have it open to our loyalty members to come in, sample beers, as well as the general public. Um, come in, sample all the beers. You get to cast a vote for which one's your most, the most enjoyable homebrew. And uh, first, second, and third will win prizes. Um, but first place gets the chance to do a collaboration yep. beer with That's Red awesome. Cypress that will be on tap at World of Beer. And we're working on possibly getting it on tap at other World of Beers as well. Um, but it will be, it's going to be a really awesome event. And for uh, $15 a ticket for people to come in and get unlimited beer for, for three hours. Yeah. And then, I mean, freaking we'll be here. Vote on it. It's gonna, I mean, it's going to be a really fun event. So yeah. keep your eyes out on the Facebook. Check for that. Um, we always have different things going on. We've always got tap takeovers and, and pint nights. We're actually having one tonight with Boulevard, um, which will be last Wait. week by the time we air this. Or the week after. So, well, you know, <laughs> we, we're always having events. Check with us all the time. Also, another thing, if you are looking to do parties or anything like that, we accommodate any kind of party you could possibly throw together. We have birthday parties where you'll get kickbacks with uh, gift cards for if you bring in a certain amount of people, you get a kickback right there, gift That's card awesome. for you to yeah. spend on your birthday. Yeah. Um, we're always hosting different parties and things like that, putting stuff together for you guys. And with our happy hour, with the prices that we have, with our $5 food, $5, oh yeah. I mean, you can't get $5 yeah, food at yeah. McDonald's. So nope. you come in, um, we'll get you set up. Cheap, cheap party for you guys to put together for office parties anything like that we're always working just call the bar uh get in contact with me directly and we'll, we'll hook you up yeah so come by world or ucf as jeff just mentioned there's a ton of things going on constantly every week there's something always and by some there's some things lots of things so as always thanks again for watching and listening i am mike jeff jeff and until next time cheers